Welcome to Craft Kids TV. Today we're going to be building a leprechaun trap. That's right. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner and we need to catch those leprechauns, right? Yeah. So how are we going to do it today? We're going to do it with a couple of boxes. We grabbed random boxes from the kitchen. This was an empty coffee box and of course we have a cereal box. Okay. So we're going to build this as a two-step or a two-room house. And we're gonna try to get him caught in that house. We're gonna to try to entice him to go in. Landon, what are we gonna put on it? These are the green balls. Green puffy balls, because leprechauns like green, right? Yeah, and so, they like shiny. Puffy they, like shi they like shiny, and they like green. Maddie's gonna put something special on the door. We're gonna make a door right about here. And it's gonna be like a trap door. Maddie's gonna put right outside the door. What's, this, what's that your sign gonna say, Maddie? Um, something like gold inside. Gold inside. We're trying to get that just leprechaun to go inside. Gold inside, just for you, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we also have these popsicle sticks here. These popsicle sticks are going to be made into a ladder, which is going to go up the side of our box, okay? The tall box. The goal tall, is to get the box. goal is to get the leprechaun to go inside the house. But leprechauns are kind oh, of crafty. Wait. They're kind of smart. It's okay, we'll we fix gotta, that. We gotta tape it. We'll tape it, we'll tape it. So Maddie's noticing that the box is already open. We're gonna repair that before we actually put a door on the other side. So, leprechauns are kind of crafty. So they're pretty smart. The leprechaun's gonna know that there might be a trap, okay? As you know, no one's ever caught a leprechaun before. They're notoriously hard to catch. I mean, like, they've gone in traps before, but they have... They've they got it. They escaped. They, they escaped. escape. That's right. We don't want ours to escape. So, we're going to put a trap door in the front. So, if we do get lucky enough that he goes in there, the trap door will slam down. But I think he's going to be a little more crafty than that. So, we're going to build a ladder all the way up to the very top of this box, where and we are I'm going to... Sure. Well, we might put gold there to entice him, but this top is going to turn into a trap door. The bottom's gonna fall right out of this when he stands on it. And he is gonna fall down into the Frosted Flakes box, which is probably not even on camera. I just explained that whole thing, but didn't show you the box. I think it was off camera. But anyways, the ladder's gonna go up the side of the box. There's gonna be a trap door on the top. The leprechaun's gonna fall right in. He's gonna be trapped inside of here. Does that and sound like a plan? He's probably not gonna be like, to make a ladder to get out. He's not gonna have a hot glue gun with him to get out, okay? Speaking of hot glue guns, we have a hot glue gun today. Maddie, would you grab it for me? Yeah, sure. We have to be extremely careful. This is more of a parent job. Yep, just bring it right over here. So this is the hot glue gun. It's been warming for a few minutes. If you use hot glue, and you don't have to, you can use Elmer's glue, you just need a little bit more time. We don't have a lot of time tonight, so we're using hot glue. If you use Elmer's glue, that's fine. But if you use hot glue, make sure you have a parent there to help. Okay? Now, bring these glue sticks out. We need a fresh one. We're not quite ready for these yet, but we're just gonna put them right here. And we're gonna put our glue gun off to the side and make sure no one touches it. Because it right. is still very warm. Other supplies that we have here today are a little bit of tape in case we need it. Thank you, Lynn. You can see we have our St. Patrick's Day decorations on today. Um, we have a couple of things in store that we're gonna put inside the house for later. We'll tell you about those later that are gonna try to entice that leprechaun to go in. Um, but for now, we're gonna work on our boxes, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is, is tape this up. Landon brought the tape over. Can you do the honors? Can you tape that up for us, Landon? Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I'm gonna start preparing the lid on the top it needs to be a trap door right now it's just like a zero box so if you push it it has this little tab that kind of acts like you know something that's going to keep it closed we don't want that so instead we want it to look like a real floor but not act like a real floor we are now clear and i don't think there's that no. The top of the box being a trap door. If it you look, had, like, something stood on top of it, it would just fall in. Okay? So that. that part is ready to go. Hmm. Now, this part that Landon has prepared is now ready for a trap door, for a front entrance door. We're going to put a front entrance door right here. 
and we're gonna use Ooh. these scissors this to do so. Dad, why do we need steak? Dad, why do we need? I brought those to cut the to cut the ladder. Okay, so we're gonna put a door right here. We want to be careful only to cut it along the sides of the door. We got a little bit of glue from when it came from the manufacturer. That's fine. You just unpeel the glue a little bit. You cut the other side of the door. Okay, so what do we have now, guys? A we have a door, door, but we have to cut this away yeah, so the leprechaun can get in, okay? So because just a couple. Just a couple more cuts, and we will have ourselves a nice leprechaun entrance. Okay, Maddie's gonna start working on her sign. Okay. Maddie, we have a green marker here. Okay. You wanna do like a... I don't really know how to spell it. I'll help you. Gold inside, right? Yeah, that's easy. Okay, so I'll explain while Maddie's doing her sign what, what this is gonna look like. So Landon, we're gonna take one of these along with that, hold the door open like this, and we're gonna take a measurement on how tall to make this, okay? It's pretty much the right height now, but we just wanna take these curved edges off. So we're gonna use, these are some side cutting pliers that I have I had in the garage. You can have a parent help you with these. Um, wire cutting snips will work. Heavy duty scissors would work as well. Just be careful, okay? These things go flying, so as you can see. <laughs> that one didn't go anywhere. But because you, we now you have, we, well, we were not gonna want to glue oh it gosh, because we're gonna want, if the leprechaun goes in, we're gonna actually set up a tripwire from here to the inside. If the leprechaun goes in the house and hits the tripwire, down goes the door, and we're gonna have to put a little weight on the door. Boom, the door will slam and the leprechaun will be in. Yeah, but what about how, but he could get out? Right, so we are going to, but it we're going to have to, inside. we're gonna have to put a weight on here that will help the door shut, and then when the weight comes down, it sits behind the door. We gotta have a spot where some light can, light can come out. Cause I'm gonna put, Wait, we're gonna, we're gonna put a light on the inside of our, of our um, leprechaun trap mm -hmm. to make it seem like it's a nice place for him to go in and settle down. Should we make a chair? So we could, we could definitely make a chair. We are gonna cut a window and we're just gonna put plastic over the front of it. Oh, so he can't get out. Wait. So I am going to cut a window into the side of this a box. What do you think about that idea, Landon? That's okay? Yeah. The goal here is to make this little leprechaun hut look so interesting that he wants to come in. Hold that up to the camera so he can see it. Put it inside. Just for me. Good job, man. Just for the Okay, now I'm just finishing up the window. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. Close enough. Because we're just trying to think smooth. That's right, we're trying to outthink the leprechaun. It's not easy to do. So, you have your little piece of baggie. You're gonna put it over the window. This is plenty big enough. Okay, so now we have a window. So we are going to now start making the ladder. All right? Well, doesn't that, it, it kind of has to be tall. Yep, it's gotta be really tall. So, let's get a glue stick out of here. You got one? Yep. Okay, let's bring our hot glue gun over. First we'll make the sides of the ladder. So we're gonna build the ladder just like this with the rungs going across. You wanna hold a rung, a rung up, each yeah. of you? Just to, oh, you want to hold that? These are these are uh, the right. sides of the ladder. The rungs are these things. Mm -hmm. So hold them close enough where I can reach. So the ladder is gonna just look like this, and it's gonna keep going up, up, up. But up, we up, can't up. make sure they're. We gotta make sure like they're not too far apart. Cause yeah, exactly. He's only as big as we can. Let's see where we're at here with this ladder. Oh my god. So. We've got a webs. bunch of what Maddie just called spider webs because that's kind of what they look like. It's just little glue trails. Not a big deal. They're not hot or anything. You just peel them off. 
And at this point, once you have most of them off, we can take a look at our, what we have for our ladder. So wow. decent little ladder. This ladder will get the leprechaun up to the top of the box. And what's tape? Okay, it's it'll look like that. We'll tape it. We'll tape it when we're all ready. But that's what it's gonna look like. But we have to end with tape. He's gonna say, "Oh, what's that?" We'll put some of these balls up here. He'll say, "What are those?" And he'll want to climb up and, and fall in. So we're going to need to find some string to make sure that this this not only does it stay oh. open, but it also has a string on it. So when we when we put when we wrap the string across the doorway when he goes in, it'll shut. Okay, and then we're gonna find some weight to put on here. Total close. Like, what do you mean by weight? Like something heavy? Yep, something heavy. What I'm gonna start do by doing is a green ball. putting a putting a couple of sticks across the door uh, with hot glue to see if that can help it. Okay. So you can already see the door closes a lot better with that one stick on there. So let's see what we can do by adding let's more. This okay, ready? Yep. Fire in the hole! Fire <laughs> in the hole. Ooh, got a little hot through the box there. Okay. Yeah, uh, that happened to me. Jesus. Jeekers. There's the glue. You want to lay it on? Sure. Just lay it right across there. Don't get, Don't your... get your fingers in it. Um, wow. Now let's see. How it oh, looks. That, yeah, that did get cool. We now have our window. We have our door that closes pretty hard. We are now at the point where we're going to adhere these boxes together. We're gonna to put a little hot glue between them. Like this. The leprechaun we're, we're thinking is going to believe he's outsmarting us. He's gonna climb up here. There's going like to be a, a little something special inside. We've got this speaker oh. right here. Oh. And on this speaker, we're gonna play some enticing Leprechaun music, some Irish music. We're gonna lower it into the box. We have some enticing Irish music playing. Leprechaun comes along. He sees the ladder. He sees the nice welcoming house with the door in the front open. Prop that open. Okay, lay it down. Okay, he comes up to the house. He doesn't know what to think. He's not sure at all what to do. So he says, you know what? Oh, what's with this? I think it's gonna be a trap to go inside. So I'm gonna go up this here ladder. He's gonna climb up the ladder. He's gonna stand right here listening to the lovely music and uh oh, he's gonna fall right in. Wait, what is he trying? Trapped leprechaun. I have spray paint. Spray paint's in the garage. You use just regular paint too to just paint the box too. Yeah, yeah you absolutely could. If you don't have spray paint, you don't need spray paint. You don't have to have the exact same things. I don't even know if we have string. No, we didn't. We'll find some somewhere. We found some string. We need to have a hole in each side of the door. Okay, it took a little bit of work there. <laughs> you don't want to have a parent help you with this for sure. Yeah. Um, as you. It's even da it's even taking down. Yeah. You're gonna have to work it through. You might have a better hole punching apparatus than we do. Um, we don't have anything immediately available. Yeah. We'll probably find something in the garage, but I'd just like to get this punched right now. There we go. There we go. We got some string in the closet. Some of Granny's old thread. And we are going to set a booby trap at the doorway. Booby trap? Yep. We're going to thread this through. I've got this little. This little thread here. I'm gonna to try to put it through the first hole that we made. All right, so we got this string through one side. Now we just need to get it through the other side and tie it off. Somehow pull it off. I got it. Okay, okay, now you can see the string is across the front door, okay? Now we need to tie this off to the prop, the stick that props it up. And it needs to be like right over there. I'm gonna wrap it around. I made a groove for it to sit in. Yep, with scissors. And now I think the best way 
to do this without me messing it up is going to be to use a dab of hot glue right on. We are pretty good for now. I think this, so the spray painting process is about to happen. Okay, so you can see we've partially painted the box. Tony the Tiger Ooh. becoming Mr. Green, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> you can't actually see him. Takes a, takes a little bit of work here to get enough paint on it. But as you can see, it's already coming pretty, pretty good. Pretty close to having a leprechaun. Nice little house here. So here we are, back at the, we have the leprechaun house. Guys, talk about it. What do we have? So we have pom-poms at the top that... And on the roof. Yep. And then the leprechaun can come in and... It's and the trap door. We go... And then what does it say on this side of it? Gold inside, just for you. Yep. Cool, so you can see, yeah, you can see now that, that there's a light inside that's enticing the leprechaun to come in. And there's also some okay. leprechaun music playing. Can you guys hear that? Listen real carefully. Can you hear it? There's yep. Irish music coming from inside the tall box. Yep. You entice the leprechaun. You go up the stairs land on the platform, and you guys know what happens. Hi guys, this is the dad joke of the day. The dad joke of the day. You want to hear a joke? Yep. Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. We can't end one of our episodes without doing one, so let me think of one. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. How do celebrities keep cool? Uh, I don't know. They have lots of fans. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? You're on the road. All right. This is our finished project. Cool. It's our finished, lep finished leprechaun trap. And Maddie, what do you want to say? I hope you catch a leprechaun, too. Go get those leprechauns. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>